Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Tenergy Geo salt water and solar powered robot. You will receive all the parts to assemble the robot, a small measuring cup, a bag of activated carbon, and a set of instructions. Before you begin, check the parts list to make sure you have all the pieces. First we'll assemble the robot, then we'll attach the salt water battery to run the robot and test it. After, we'll use the solar panel by disconnecting the salt water battery and swapping some components. The instructions are pretty easy to follow, so let's get started. With the blue chassis, install the front and rear wheels on the underside, matching the gear on the back wheels to the notch on the chassis. Next, mount the motor into the receptacle on the chassis and line up the gears. Take the two arms and attach them to the underside of the back cover. Attach this component to the top of the chassis. Now, find the neck and attach this between the arms. Next, push the head onto the neck until it clicks. It should be able to swivel up and down securely. Now add the connection bar onto the back cover. It'll click into place. Finally, install the support case on top of the connection bar. And that's all for the robot assembly. Now we'll assemble the salt water battery. Take one of the battery cases and place a copper plate in the bottom. Then open the bag of activated carbon and scoop out enough to just fill the cavity without overflowing. You can pour the rest of the activated carbon into the empty zip top bag and remove the air before sealing it to keep it fresh. Press down and smooth the carbon so that it is level. Then place one of the absorbent tissue paper squares on top. Cover the paper with a magnesium plate, then close the battery cover and make sure it is secured. Next, attach the red and black wires to the reaction box on the sides marked R for red and B for black respectively. Slide the battery you created into the reaction box at a slight upward angle, then press it down until it clicks. Be sure to press it in as far as it will go. This ensures that both the copper and magnesium plates are touching the wire plates. Finally, attach the connector on the battery to the connector on the motor and secure it into the support case on the back of the robot. Now we're ready to test out the homemade battery with some salt water. Fill the measuring cup with room temperature water to the 10 milliliter line. Then add three to four spoons of table salt and stir until dissolved. Now take the dropper and collect some salt water. You'll need to squeeze about 10 drops, one at a time, into the hole on the battery compartment. Make sure the robot is on a smooth, flat surface when you do this and let each drop absorb before adding another drop. The robot should start moving on its own. Isn't that cool? Now let's try it with the solar panel. Disconnect the salt water battery and remove it from the support case. Now take the solar panel and remove the protective film on top. Place it into the support case and feed the wires into the slots on the back. Then complete the connection by connecting it to the motor. Lastly, add the solar panel cover on top and press down until it clicks. Now, when you take the robot outside and place it in bright sunlight, it'll start moving. It works best on a smooth flat surface and the brighter the sunlight, the faster it'll go. Overall, this is a really fun and simple build kit. The instructions are straightforward, illustrated, and easy to follow. They even go through a bit of the history and science behind the way energy is created from the solar cell and the salt water battery. It's a neat little experiment and teaching tool to get kids interested in science, electricity, and mechanical engineering. It's also a great way to spend the afternoon with your kids. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.